All right, guys, sometimes you just gotta pulverize something with a shotgun. In this case, we've got a Henry single shot, 12 gauge. Uh, I know we've alluded to doing this video. We're gonna shoot it a little bit. We got some pretty powerful slugs here. This is a Kent one ounce deer slug, followed up by a duplex. And this one's one of the broadhead uh, Hexalit 32s expanding slug. And then we've got a one ounce Berniki home defender. We're gonna work our way back. First the home defender, then the duplex, then the Kent. Henry single shot, 12 gauge, here we go. Duplex. Kent. That might have been a slightly bad idea. Let's move on. It is the mucus that binds us. Those watermelons came apart pretty good. You guys watch Ace of Ventura, you know what I'm talking about with that. Because we all were wearing a little bit of those watermelons just then. That's, a, that's all right. Light's going to move on. Um, Henry's doing a great job with their single shot uh, rifles and shotguns. This is a 12 gauge. Uh, it does have a modified choke with the screw in choke tube uh, that comes in it. It's got a bead sight, walnut furniture, nice checkering, really well fitted um, recoil pad. And Henry is really filling a sort of niche with their single shots that is really missing in the market right now. So it's kind of cool to be able to pick up a Henry that's not terribly expensive. These do represent a pretty good value in a Henry. Um, you're getting into a single shot, you know, getting away from a lever action, which they're typically known for. Um, but these are great shotguns. Uh, I've really been enjoying uh, playing with this particular one. We're gonna shoot at some for you today and talk a little bit more as we go. Um, one other sort of thing, uh, like I mentioned in the 4570 video, uh, we have taken one of the 4570 single shot rifles out to play with. If you want to check that video out, go over there and uh, check it out. Um, I did mention in that particular video, uh, be mindful of these, these edges along the receiver right here in the rear of the forend. You know, if you, if you have your hand close to this area, uh, it can pinch you, all right? So just, just be careful about that. That's about the only uh, minor design detriment that I, I see as being just only a very slightly small issue there. All right, let's shoot it a little bit. We're gonna pattern it some with the modified choke. We'll start out with a uh, birdshot load and let's just pattern it over here. Very unscientific. This is a Remington Sportsman high speed steel, one ounce at 1365 on the velocity, two and three quarter. Uh, this barrel, uh, th this uh, shotgun is chambered for three and a half inch, which we're gonna shoot some three and a halfs out of it as well. All right, I'm just gonna pattern this bird shot. Very positive ejection, so it is an auto eject uh, shotgun, which makes it really handy to shoot. Let's, uh, let's see if that bird shot's got enough power to knock down this plate here in front of me. Oh yeah. Nice tight pattern there. Okay, we're gonna step up the uh, food chain just a little bit. How about some Federal Flight Control uh, Buckshot Ammunition? We tend to have this stuff sort of as a good standby for patterning shotguns. Um, it works really well, it's very accurate, and the price on it is pretty reasonable. So with the flight control, this is a two and three quarter inch buckshot, nine pellets of double alt moving at 1325 out of the Henry here. And I'm gonna go just to the plate next to it and I'm gonna group the nine pellets of buckshot. See what we got. Favor's a little low. Let's try one more, make sure I didn't uh, pull the shotgun around at all. Good pattern though, very well centered. Yep, it's shooting right where it's looking. I, I just pulled the shotgun down just a little bit. Uh, the trigger is definitely not bad. It's got a little bit of take up, just a tiny amount of creep. But for a shotgun in this price range, definitely not bad. I would definitely pit it directly against like the H&R single shots, like the toppers and 88s and things like that. So you have to manually cock the hammer every shot. Uh, the release for the action to open the action can be actuated from either, either direction. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, 
Uh, that doesn't matter. It can be actuated to the left or to the right, uh, which is nice. For a shotgun in this price range, it does not come with sling studs pre-mounted on the gun. Uh, that's one thing I noticed initially. I was going to drop a little sling on it. Uh, it does not have sling studs from the factory, but I would imagine that's an easy enough thing to install. Um, I, would, I would venture to, to think that Henry's probably just trying to keep the price point uh, competitive and reasonable. Uh, the butt pad on this is very well fitted. Very nice, pretty piece of walnut on that. Really good looking checkering. Good fit and finish. Definitely fulfilling a need, I believe, uh, in the shotgun world. Some people just want a little single shot. Uh, to take out and have fun with. All right, so I've got a couple of these Kents left. And there in the beginning, uh, they definitely wore out that, uh, <laughs> that watermelon a bit there. I'm going to just group two of these slugs. These are one ounce Kents moving 1750. So this is definitely a slug that's getting down. It's moving. And I'm just going to aim at the bolt. And let's just see where they hit in relation to where I'm looking. Not bad. Stack two right on top of each other. <laughs> that th th those uh, those Kents will rattle your cage. That's Kent cartridge, deer slugs, and I'm one of those weirdos. When I go into a gun shop, I'll go around to the shotgun ammo section and I'll just go, "What's cool? What's powerful? What's crazy?" And I'll just grab random lots of ammo. Uh, you know, and sometimes, I mean, let's face it, like I'll look at the box and like this case, I saw these Bernikis. I'm like, all right, it's got a dude in it with the Kevlar helmet on and a shotgun and his tactical and home defense all in one title. I don't know. These have got like a boxing glove on the box. I mean, come on. They put a boxing glove on the box. It's got to be good, right? And then never mind the ones with my, yeah, the ones that's got my bear on the box. So of course, this box is all shredded up, but my Black Magic has got the growling bear on the box, which sadly, I'm out of those right now. I have to pick up more. And then you get into some of this stuff like, like these are neat. I got these through Brownells. Um, these are the Challengers, and it is basically a different take on a mini, mini shell, okay? So with the Challenger here, it's a 12 bore moving at uh, 1200 feet per second. It's a one and three quarter ounce or one and three quarter inch length. 14 pellets of, uh, I think this is number four buckshot. Yeah, it's got to be. It says 14 pellets, but there's no way they're fitting double all. That's got to be number four. Let's give these a try. We do have a section sort toward, of towards the top of the uh, plate. Let's just group a few of these challengers and see what they do. Now, the mini shells are cool because. You know, these, you get into less recoil and it's a little bit cheaper to shoot. And this is great for youngsters. If you got somebody who's maybe shy with a 12 gauge, but they want some reduced recoil, uh, this is definitely a way to get, get that accomplished. Let's try it. <laughs> Does not kick at all. Not bad. I'm just going to go ahead and keep patterning in that one spot. And let's see how many we can throw into a pattern on that plate there. I'm just going to aim at the bolt. That pattern tight. I would say at about 20 yards, probably about an 8 or 10 inch spread. Not too bad. All right, there's your challengers. You guys get the idea there. Definitely low on the recoil. Then you have the uh, Agula mini shells which these have always been a good standby. Uh, we're just going to play around with a couple of these. So this is number four buck. This uses uh, seven pellets of number four and four pellets of number one is what it appears to be. The 5 eighth ounce at 1,200 feet per second. Now these guys are the original, uh, original people on the hill when it comes to the uh, mini shells. Aguila, 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 whatever you want to say. They've always been on the forefront of uh, coming up with some cool stuff. All right, let's try a few of these. This little plate right here. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice tight pattern. That could certainly take out a little jackrabbit or a little critter. Hit, uh, hits hard too. Very nice. I don't think a single pellet is off the plate. So those pattern nice and tight. And guys, I'm just trying to show you a bunch of different ammo out of this thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to make a single shot not work. You know what I mean? But we're just trying to show you some different stuff. You know, maybe some of this ammo you guys don't, uh, don't know about. Maybe now you will. All right, here's some Aguila mini, mini slugs. These are moving at 1250, so a little bit faster uh, than the buckshot rounds were. I'm just going to go over to the plate next to it. And, of course, we'll, I'll tell you what, let's take out a popper. That was fun. One more. Uh-oh. I missed? What? Oh, but, you know, we added in all the hits. We don't ever miss, Chad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Those little slugs hit with some authority. All right, a couple more. Be gone, box. <laughs> okay, now we're going to group the slugs on the plate next to it there. Hit some with some authority. Got a little bit of a spread, but definitely not bad at all for a little little slug going down range there. We're gonna step up our uh, our A game here. We're gonna get on our A game with some three and a half inch Winchesters. Okay, now we're getting on. We went from the little the, the short end of the stick. Now we're getting the the full Monty here. These are three and a half inch high brass, 54 pellet number four buckshot. And it's about to let me know it's here. That's all you. That yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take one for the team. <laughs> what? What? Look at this. Look at that. Bloop. Here we go. Oh my gosh. And ah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Yeah. I felt that in my soul. Like, I can feel my jaw kind of, ah, I feel like I might have to go get an adjustment after that. You know, they still say that 10 gauge is uh, obsolete because of that cartridge. You know, because okay. of the three and a half inch 12 gauge. I don't know though, but that's, that's pretty powerful. That definitely reminds me of shooting a 10 gauge. Yeah, that's on the top end. That's a top end load. But it's cool to know that this single shot 12 gauge will handle whatever you can put in it. Uh, if your shoulder will handle it, the gun will handle it. Uh, so definitely not too bad right there. You got one more in you? I want to see one of those. Yeah, we can, yeah sure, we can do it. All right, what, do you, what should I shoot with this? I, I want to see a soda evaporate. A soda? Yeah, I want to see it distance? just At this distance? Okay. Go. What about that one hanging there on the right? The one hanging on the right? Yeah. You got it. 54 pellets of number four. But I mean, that, was, that was pretty tight right there, about 20 yards. Three and a half inches never, never seemed so big until now. When you're talking <laughs> shotguns, <laughs> that's a bit of length. All right, here we go. Ah. Woo! <laughs> Man, that is getting out of here right there, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do with a shotgun like this. And I think that one of the charms of a single shot 12 gauge is just the fact that you can put so many different rounds through it and it can serve such a wide variety of different purposes for you. Not to mention the light and handy characteristic of this particular shotgun. Um, it is extraordinarily light. Now, on some of the top end loads, like these three and a halves, 
Um, this is not a weenie load, okay? You're gonna know it's there, it hurts. I mean, it, it's a lot of recoil out of these three and a halfs. Um, but you can tame this shotgun by switching down to some of the mini shells such as the Agulas and the Challengers. And then of course, there's something in between for everybody with a 12 gauge, um, you know, like our bird shot we tested and everything like that. Um, I think that 12 gauges, not, not even a single shot as much as just a 12 gauge in general, is a really undervalued type of, of survival tool, I think. Because, you know, we, we've talked about all different types of various uh, shotgun loads in the past and other random things you can do with a shotgun. Um, there's just a really versatile, handy implement to have around. I mean, shotguns are great. Uh, this is no exception. Uh, I believe that Henry is really filling a void in the market by offering this type of a shotgun. You know, H&R is really no more. Uh, you know, haven't been able to get any of the um, H&R stuff for quite a while. Uh, so I think it's really smart of them to come out with something like this. And Henry has really been coming out with a lot of random guns. And they have a lot of new stuff coming out as well. So, guys, thanks for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Wait a minute. What is wrong with me? What has this world come to? What have I done? I left sodas back there and the video's not even... A no, 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 no. Hang on. We still got more to get rid of. But just the same, if you're leaving now, I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching and all that happy business. Kumbaya and all that good stuff. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to do? We'll see, here's some, here's some three inch buckshot. This is 15 pellets of number, number two. Let's try a few of these against the sodas. I imagine this load's gonna be a little stout as well. Get that one soda hanging down there. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get that jaw going. Woo! It's like knock my glasses over. All right. Berniki KO. Shotgun slugs with a punch. Improved faster than ever. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Ah, just to the right. Look at me. What are you doing? I think I literally just missed it right off the right edge. Well, they felt powerful. You Let's try our bird shot loads. You don't have any true balls? Uh, I'm out of them. <laughs> Stand by. Hang on, I got I got a bird shot load. Let's see what that does. Man, that bird shot pelted that uh, soda pretty good at this distance. It's your lucky day. Oh, look at you. Always prepared. Okay. One true ball to rule them all. Federal true ball system slug. One ounce, moving 1,600 feet per second. We'll see what we can do here. One lonely soda. One lonely one ounce slug. Hmm. Come on now. What happened? I don't know. Maybe those are patterning in a different area. Let me put one on this plate over here and see where it's at. Just low center there. It sure was. Right. Okay. Let's try again. Those really aren't too bad to shoot either. Mm -mm. They're about like shooting the Kents. Yeah, I like the true balls. Yeah, they are nice. Just low. Oh, God, it was look low. That hole look at you that. put in the board. I yeah. know. That's crazy. Huh. The day that I missed with a shotgun. Well, you did just uh, you know, shoot those three and a halfs. <laughs> ah. All right, guys. Just the same. Have yourselves a great day. We appreciate you watching today's video. 
We always love getting out there and having some fun with a 12 gauge. Today's no different. We love our shotguns here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you have yourselves a great day. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you next time.